It looks as though gas prices may peak higher than what we've ever been accustomed to. With prices like these, there's no telling how quickly the tri-states could see gas prices hit the $4 mark. The rising costs have made many people in Quincy consider an alternative. Since I got married a year ago, um, we've just not even bothered getting a vehicle because of the gas prices. So this is the door I normally come in every morning. Robin Robinson says most days she rides her bike to work, but on days like these, she takes the bus. The bus seems to be more full each day, so that might be good for the transit system. And good for her wallet, averaging a dollar a day on the bus. Without this service, we could probably barely squeak by, but we don't want to squeak. So we do it more comfortably and we'll just wait. Sometimes you can't see that car up there. Greg Davis with Madison Davis Bicycle says he's seen the biking trend take off in the last couple of years. I asked him if Quincy was bicycle friendly. As far as its infrastructure is concerned, it's not particularly bicycle friendly. But by nature of its size and layout, it can be if you make the right choices. There are some roads that don't have sidewalks, so and so you have to use the road. But you just kind of work out your own little way. You can just move one or two blocks away from the main thoroughfare and have a very low traveled, safe uh, way to travel. Safe, efficient, and a popular source for family time. Our youngest, Dakota, he's six and in kindergarten, so he just re recently started taking the bus with me. He used to walk every day, his dad walked him, but now he likes to take the bus because he feels like a big boy. And so it's just different little things you can do as a family that normally you miss out on because it just passes you by. Brooke Hash, KHQA News, Quincy.